And turn now to the Ebola outbreak. A patient in Dallas is in strict isolation this morning after showing signs of the deadly disease. Doctors concerned based on his travel history as America spends tens of millions and sends thousands of troops to treat Africa's victims and keep the virus from spreading here. ABC's Dr. Richard Besser is on the front lines in Liberia. Good morning, Rich. Good morning, George. This morning in Texas, they continue to test a patient who traveled and has symptoms of Ebola while around the globe, the death toll from the disease continues to rise. The CDC now says this is their largest international outbreak response in their history. I got an exclusive tour of this Ebola isolation unit here in Liberia where more patients are surviving than ever. This is the first time a journalist has been allowed into the Ebola ward at El Watu. It's getting hotter with each layer, <laughs> but feeling safer with each layer too. Suiting up this carefully, layers and layers of protective gear, maybe why they've never had anyone who works here catch Ebola. And then we just have to identify one another. Very good. Dr. Jerry Brown, a Liberian surgeon, is in charge. He prays every time before he goes into the ward. Protect us Lord from every danger. Once you come in here, you don't ever go back. That's it. We're now considered contaminated. Yes, contaminated. 60 people in a ward built for 40. The wards the U.S. is building won't be here for weeks. America realizing we must stop Ebola here so it doesn't continue to spread around the world. My head tells me I'm protected from the body fluids that would transmit Ebola, but my heart pounds anyway. Ravi is a 26-year-old who caught the virus from his roommate and feels that Dr. Brown saved him. He gave my life. No, Ravi, I'm not gone. <laughs> he gave you life. Yeah, he gave me life. This patient is a nurse. Here, healthcare workers who are on the mend help monitor the others. Already infected, they can work in the wards without the brutally hot protective gear. After just 40 minutes inside that unit, I was dehydrated and exhausted. But, but something surprised me. For the first time during this crisis, I saw hope. George? Thank goodness for that. Okay, Rich and Dr. Besser will be taking your questions from the hot sun all morning. Tweet them using the handle at Dr. Richard Besser.